Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to teach you how to identify a common wire or a C wire and why it's important when you're selecting a smart thermostat or installing a smart thermostat. So we've got a thermostat here and this one is smart, but that's not important. This will work for even your old style thermostat that it is not smart. So the first thing that we need to do to identify a common wire is turn off the power at the circuit breaker to our HVAC system or turn off the power at the HVAC system itself. Many times there's a switch right next to that system and it's gonna allow you to turn the power off. Once you've turned the power off, we're gonna remove the thermostat. So I'm gonna turn the power off right now. So we turned off the power to our existing HVAC system and now we can safely remove our thermostat from what's mounting it to the wall. So in this case, I just peel up and now I'm able to take a look at the wiring. Now here's where you're able to identify the common wire. So when we take a closer look, we can look at each one of these wires and understand what it means. The G wire is our fan wire and the OB wire, that's for heat pumps, but we don't have that here. The W2 wire is going to be for second stage heating. The L wire, we don't use that here. We've got a W wire, that is for first stage heating. We've got a Y wire, that's for air conditioning. We've got a Y2 wire, that's for second stage air conditioning. And we've got our C wire or common wire right here, which is often required for smart thermostats. Then we've got our RC and RH wires. And these are power wires for the system. So RH is power for heating or power for cooling. And that's only if you have a dual fuel system where you typically see both those wires. But in most cases, you're only going to have one wire for that power. And it's typically going to be RH. And it provides the power for both heating and cooling for the thermostat. So the common wire we have right here means that our existing thermostat wiring is going to be compatible with most every smart thermostat out there on the market that requires a common wire. Now, if you don't have a C wire, but you still want to use a smart thermostat, there are a couple of options that you can use. One, you can take your G wire, which is your fan wire right here, and you can place it in the C wire in your smart thermostat. But then what you're going to need to do is take your G wire down in your existing HVAC system where it's wired up from the thermostat to your HVAC system on the control board and you're going to move your G wire over to the C terminal. And what that does is your G wire is your fan terminal and when you take this wire that was the fan control wire and move it over to C both at the thermostat and in your HVAC system it has now become the C wire instead. And you might wonder, well, what happens? Will I not have fan control? You will no longer have fan control to independently turn on or off your fan that blows air throughout your house. However, most modern HVAC systems will automatically turn the fan on whenever your heating is on or whenever your cooling is on. So it's not necessary to have that G wire or fan control unless you want to use the fan only without having your heat or air conditioning on at the same time. So if you just want to circulate air with that fan, you can do that if you have a G wire. But if that's not important to you and you just want the fan to turn on whenever your heat or cooling turns on, which is in most cases for most people how it operates, then you can use that G wire as a C wire. Now, another option that you might run into is that you may have a bundle of wires up at your existing thermostat, and there may be a wire that's not connected at the thermostat. In that case, if you have an extra wire, you can go down to your HVAC system and then connect that wire at the C terminal down in your HVAC system on the control board, and then connect it to the C terminal on the thermostat, and you can use that as a common wire. Now, the last option for using a common wire or adding a common wire would just be run additional wiring from your thermostat down to your HVAC system, and then you can have that extra wire and put it in the C terminal, both on the smart thermostat and at the HVAC control board down in your HVAC system. Then you can have that extra C wire when needed for smart thermostats. There is one last option, but it doesn't work for all smart thermostats and some manufacturers have devices that are compatible with it. What it is, is you can use a C wire adapter and that typically comes with Ecobee smart thermostats. And what it does is it takes a four wire system and turns it into a compatible system 
with existing smart thermostats so that even if you don't have a C wire at your thermostat, the adapter will allow you to use those existing wires. Now, the only downside to that is that you do have to install that C wire adapter down inside your existing HVAC system, and it typically does take four wires. So you have to have usually an R wire, a Y wire, a W wire, and a G wire in order for it to work. So it won't necessarily work with heat only systems or cooling only systems. You really need to have a system that has a W, Y, G, and R wire. Now you may wonder what does a common wire do or why is it necessary for smart thermostats? Well, a common wire is used for smart thermostats to allow the thermostat to continually charge its internal battery. If you don't have a C wire, how a smart thermostat will typically work is that it's kind of only charging whenever the thermostat is running. Like when you've got it running on air conditioning or heating, it closes the circuit. And then when that circuit is closed, your existing smart thermostat will be charging up with power. How the C wire works for many smart thermostats is it's a return path for current. So it'll allow the smart thermostat to charge even when it's not running, heating, or cooling. Now there's a lot of different ways different manufacturers get around this. There are some smart thermostats that don't require a C wire, and that's usually because they have higher capacity batteries or they have a little bit different way of electrically engineering how they charge the batteries. But in cases where you have a smart thermostat that does require a C wire, typically that is what it is used for. It allows the internal battery to charge within the smart thermostat or the internal circuitry within the smart thermostat to be powered up continuously, even when your heating or cooling is not running. And that C wire allows that thermostat then to be powered up and show the display and connect to Wi Fi systems. So, thank you for watching this video on how to identify a common wire or a C wire, what a C wire is and options for installing a C-wire if you plan to go this route with your smart thermostat. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.